It's Thursday, October 15th. My name is Ashley, for anybody who doesn't know me, and I'm Thursday Girl here on 55. I'm donating this video to water.org. Because the truth is, women can't do anything. That's right, millions of women all over the world can't do anything to further their communities. They're far less productive than they could be because huge portions of their day are spent collecting water. And usually, the water's not even safe to drink. Over three and a half million people die every year because of water-related diseases, like diarrhea. Three and a half million people a year is like a World Trade Center happening every four hours. When charities go into villages and have water and sanitation hookups, the project is far more likely to succeed when women of the community are on board. If you can't donate money, donate your voice. The idea is, if I become a fan of water.org on Facebook, then my friends will see Ashley has become a fan of water.org, and it's like advertising space that water.org didn't have to pay for. And seriously, people, you have so much more influence than advertising space does. If enough people donate their voice and spread the word for water.org, then that's like thousands of advertising dollars that get to go to solving the water crisis. And the reason I really love water.org is that they're really smart about how they spend their money. They use microfinancing to fund their water projects. They call it water credit, and basically communities that can generate income will take out loans to do the hookups for water and sanitation. And over time they pay back the loans, which provides money for wells and sanitation in communities that don't generate income. Over the span of 10 years, five times as many people will be able to be hooked up to water because of the microfinancing. Not only that, but did you know that 50% of wells in Africa fail within the first first five years, but 100% of water.org funded projects are still in operation after 20 years. People, water.org is doing something right, and I want to do what I can to help them. Now, I don't have that big of a following, but I know a few people who have huge followings, and this is my plea for them to get involved. The people that I'm going to ask to take action are John and Hank Green, Lisa Lillian, and Philip DeFranco. John and Hank Green are also known as the Vlog Brothers. I don't know if you guys remember, but we met at LeakyCon. I'm the girl who looks like Jacob the Werewolf. John and Hank, I am a nerd fighter, and I'm trying to affect the marketing world as a nerd fighter. You guys inspired me in coming up with the idea for Donate Your Voice when we were talking about what to do with advertising in your videos. If you like the idea of water.org, I would love it if you two could spread the word to nerd fighters. Lisa Lillian, or better known as Hungry Girl, is known for her emails that she sends out for tips and tricks for hungry chicks. Lisa, you know me because I originally had Hungry Girl as a Twitter screen name, until I got an email from you asking if you could take it from me. Lisa, maybe you could be Thirsty Girl instead of Hungry Girl for a day. If you talk about water.org in one of your emails, you can prove that women can do anything. Philip DeFranco, a sexy film, we've never met, but I'm a huge fan. And I know you have your misogynistic side. I really want to hear you say women can't do anything and have it be for a good cause. Everyone else, I want you to make sure that John, Hank, Lisa, and Phil see this video. In the sidebar, I've got their Twitter screen names, their email addresses, and links to this video. Send them the link and tell them how much you want them to donate their voice to the cause. Also, check out water.org slash women, and there you can download backgrounds and avatars and signatures and anything that helps donate your voice to the cause. Also at water.org, you can donate actual money. $25 provides one person with clean water for life. That's about it for me. To wrap up, I'm going to play water.org's video. John, Hank, Lisa, and Phil, I hope you see this. And Kimmers, I'll see you tomorrow. For millions of women, mother-daughter talks begin and end with telling their daughters that they can expect to be nothing, that they can aspire to accomplish little more than basic survival, and that their lives will not be defined by possibilities, but by the all-consuming daily search for water. Water is not just a world crisis, it's a women's crisis. Find out how ridiculously easy it is to change at water.org.